Hey everybody, it's Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And this weekend, like most, I am here at Royal Caribbean's private island of Coco Cay. But this is a special weekend because it is the unveiling of South Beach. Now there hasn't been an announcement on the freedom of the seas, but the tram is stopping here. The gates have been removed so that everybody can come into South Beach, which is a newer beach. It's one that they have worked on after they opened up the island, after they come and spent all this money at it. And it has been used in post COVID times for the crew so that the crew could have their own exclusive location where they could still stay in a little bit of a bubble and not intermingle with the guest. But the crew now has a different place, potentially called Secret Cove, I am hearing. But I wanted to show you what it's like here at South Beach as this is the first weekend that it's been open. So I just got here to South Beach and did a quick walkthrough. And let me tell you, so far, I am impressed with South Beach. So let me start the tour here at the tram station. This is probably where majority of the folks are gonna come to this section of the beach at. It is a little bit remote from the rest of the beaches and the pool. So the tram, especially for those that don't wanna walk very far or may have mobility issues, is gonna be a really great option to get off right here. So when you come in, you're gonna see you have your cabana concierge there are several cabanas here there's probably about eight of these that are over here that you can rent for you and your family and your cruise planner online and this beach already feels nice and new as I mentioned guests have not been here before so this is the really the first time that we've had the experience of coming here and it was built after the rest of Coco Cay and as you can see the colors the paint everything is extremely vibrant one of the things that I really like about this place is that everything is close by so if you watch my other video on the chill island beaches you'll see that I talk about which ones are close to a bar which ones are close to a restroom this beach has everything within walking distance very very close so it does have a snack shack here that has the same menu as the other snack shack at chill island my favorite is the chicken sandwich there you're gonna have your juices and your beverages that you can pick up and you're gonna have lots of sports activities but my favorite part is that it just feels a little bit smaller it feels a little bit more intimate there are a lot more people at this beach I think probably because it's a little bit newer you have your own personal floating bar out in the water but it is a gorgeous experience over here so let me show you what one of these cabanas look like so this looks like it's gonna be for the Randall party today you get a couple of loungers that you can hang out in you're gonna have the cooler in the middle there and you're also gonna have those attendants coming over and supporting you Looks like there is a section on the other side down there, but if you know, I mentioned earlier, that is the secret cove. So that's actually where the crew is gonna be at these days. So they were in this area, they've moved them down a little bit so that they still have an exclusive area away from us. There is the floating bar where you can go out and get a drink, keeping in mind, you have to pull yourself up on that. So if you have mobility issues, it's not gonna be very easy. There's also no power out there. So you're not gonna have any frozen drinks or anything made with a mixer. You're overlooking the Coco Cay Beach Club cabanas over there. So you've got a good group coming or you, know, you just wanna spend some really quiet exclusive time. You can head over to the Overwater Cabanas. And I have a video on those as well if you wanna check that out, just to learn more about what the experience looks like at those cabanas. We showed up here, I would say late. Today we are here with Allure of the Seas. Uh, Freedom of the Seas is here with the Allure. And it was about 11.30 when we got out here and we barely found some chairs in this section. It is a busier island today in general. So I'm not sure if that just makes this busy or if it's just busy because. You'll see that you have lots of sports activities. This is volleyball, which you have over in Chill Island as well. You're gonna have basketball and you have your restrooms. See how new all the colors look? You've got some music playing, but I will say it is not too loud. One of the issues I know a lot of people have with Oasis Lagoon is that the music there can be rather intensive and rather loud. Here, it is not the case. It's coming through, but it's not on the obnoxious or the very, very loud side. Walking on down, you come to your sports pavilion. They do have the mats for rent over here. 
I think those go for about $10. And you're gonna have your bar. So if you wanna be close to the bar, which you know, I think a lot of people do for these, especially if you have your drink package or your diamond and higher coupons, they do work on the island. So you'll be able to come over here to grab your drinks. I see a few people, I think there's one of the drink servers now, but there's not many people walking around serving drinks. So you may want to be close to this bar. A couple of hammocks down here. These make for really good pictures, I would say. Especially the colors of those hammocks are nice and bright. They come through. So if you want to do like a photo op, you can always do that. And here are the rules of South Beach. If you want to read through those and pause this, I'm not going to stay on it too terribly long. Most of it makes good common sense. I do see some extra chairs over here. So if you are coming to the island, you ran late like we do. This is the space that you're going to, want to come to because it's a little bit hidden. It's not in the main section and it is farthest away from the trams. But as you see, there's plenty of seating down here to get away. You will be looking straight at the overwater cabanas. You may like that. But the good news is you will still be able to get a chair. So I'll do a quick tour of the bar area. There are a few chairs around it. I don't know if they're allowing you to really hang out at the bar these days. That's not really been a thing in the past. But as you can see, it is gonna be a fun time. And they do have the ability to make more drinks over here and there's not too much of a line. If you wanna continue walking around the island, you would come out simply on this other side here. This is also the tram pathway that's gonna take you to Chill Island and the Cocoa Beach entrance. And you would just go down there to your right and it'll connect you back to the rest of the island. All right, so that is what South Beach looks like. I will say that so far, it seems to be my favorite beach of all the different Chill Island beaches because everything is so close together. The big draw to me is that I can come here, you've got the bar, you've got sports, you've got the snack shack, which is my personal favorite over the traditional restaurant. And there are plenty of chairs. You saw those, especially down at the end. The water's just as beautiful here as it is everywhere else. It is a really, really well done beach and it feels brand new. Some of the cons to this beach are number one, if you're walking, it's gonna be a little ways away and you might wanna take the tram. You may have just seen it go behind me in this green space back there. The tram's running pretty full these days. I think we have 3,500 people on Freedom of the Seas this weekend. They're expecting another 3,000 next weekend and we're here with the Allure of the Seas and it probably has several thousand people as well. So getting here is gonna be the toughest part for most people, but I think that it is well worth the trip. Come check it out, see what you think. Make sure that you're checking out what those Chill Island beaches look like too though, so you know if this is your good fit, or maybe you're saying, actually Brandon, I'd rather go snorkeling and you wanna go to the second section over in Chill Island. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like this content. If you do, make sure that you are sailing on into that subscribe button to stay up to date on all things weekend cruising and Royal Caribbean in general. Hope to see you on a weekend cruise soon.